DJ Pro has one of the most advanced stem separating softwares called Neuromix. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some hidden features with DJ Pro's amazing Neuromix. So here we are in classic mode. This is where you're gonna have the biggest view of Neuromix. So that's where I am gonna start with this tutorial. And then to get to your Neuromix, you're, what you're gonna do is press this button here. This button represents your mixer, so it's going to have your mixer, your EQs, your effects, and all of the amazing features. So we're going to press that, and then the first one is going to be Neuromix. Probably going to start you in this one, the three-band Neuromix mixer. And then here you could control your drums, harmonics, and your vocals. Hidden feature that you could start with is over here, Neuromix hidden drop-down menu. And then now we can adjust this and customize it to our style of DJ. For myself, I don't you really use the harmonic part of this. I mostly just mix the instrumentals and the vocals doing mashups. I'll use the instrumentals from one song and the vocals from the other. So I like to keep it on the two band. So to switch it from three to two, you just go to this hidden drop down menu over here and then you could switch it till two. And you could even go all the way up to four, but again, I think it just gets too complicated. So I would recommend leaving it on the two band. The next hidden feature is going to be in our effects section. So we're gonna go one, two, three clicks over to our effects. And then now it may, in this screen, it may look like there's nothing to do with Neuromix, but if we press the drop down menu on where we select our effects over here, you see phaser, drop it down. And then now you still might think that you can't control Neuromix, but if you go all the way down here to where it says deck, there is a hidden feature. And then now you could set the effect to affect the a specific part of Neuromix. So either you could have the effect only affect the vocals, only affect the harmonics, or only affect the drums. So if you want to put a reverb just on the vocals and not on the words of the song, you can do that. So this is what it's gonna sound like. So now the effect is only affecting the vocals of the song. It's really cool. You could really dial in your effects and get the most effect out of it. So if you guys want to have your effects only be on parts of Neuromix, just go to the drop down menu on the effects and then go down to change the Neuromix section that you're going to be doing. Another hidden feature to do with the with Neuromix is going to be on your waveforms. So we are going to switch from classic mode, press the middle button, go over to pro mode, and now here are our waveforms. So if we press our waveform settings over here with this menu, you're not going to see anything for Neuromix. But if we do this kind of hidden view mode and you see how this is selected, our music, our sampler, and then our EQs. If we press this again, now we get this huge view of our waveforms. So what we're going to do is go to, to the same one and two drop down menus. And then now we have the control of our neural mix tracks. So we have the... It's going to start you on this one where they're all going to be together and you do not see the separation of neural mix. But if we press this hidden drop down menu, we could get boom. This one is two bands, so it's the vocals and the harmonics. So you could see where there's going to be only vocals or only the instrumental of the song. Now, if we press it again, we could get the three bands. So the same three bands that we talked about before, we have our vocals, our instruments, and our drums. You could even go to the four bands and then you get this view of every, diff every separated stem at one time and you could see it on your waveforms. And if you wanna learn more about the amazing, beautiful waveforms in DJ Pro, check out this video over here.